Welcome back to Let's Play Sonos Script and Spell for Bikini Bottom. We're gonna try out going back to Jellyfish Fields for some reason. It's not our first time here. But we're back. Whoa. It's an icy block or something of that nature. This music weirds me out. I don't know why. I don't know how to feel about this one song. Okay. That was strangely perilous. Oh no! like to ascend. I would really like to ascend. You know, go that way. There we go. So you can get them to listen. Hey, kid. Oh, blocks. The bubble switch. Boom. Why oh, is this bubble switch done? Okay, so I see. So these blocks weren't enabled up until just now. Because I had the red blocks turned on. So if I hit this now. Well, now they're intangible again, I'm imagining. I won't find out, I guess. Maybe I should increase my max health in this game. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Asking you shall receive. Please! This way. Why am I using bubbles to make this work? This way. Why are you going that way? No, you, you are unretrie- you're irretrievable. Beyond the plan, no return. There we go. It's been done. Beautiful. Why? Okay. Um, we won't be able to go off to the left anyways until a little bit later, I guess, since I don't actually have the screw key. Why, why are the doors like this anyways? Like, this is decidedly un-Spongebob. What these doors are like, I guess the point? The idea is just to mimic the robots in their design or something like that? The idea is that these doors are here because of Plankton. And there aren't usually many doors here in Jellyfish Fields, one would imagine, but... Yeah, it's some strange things you've encountered in Bikini Bottom in this game. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there, in fact, were doors just strewn throughout the place. Pop. Aha. Oh no! Game. You're gonna waste so much of my time with these bubble blocks. This is one of those games that just loves to waste your time. What? Why? Why did you not exist? When, when were you destroyed? Okay. Just take me. Or maybe not. Ha ha! Yes! You don't need bubble blocks. I'm self-sufficient. I'm independent sponge. Yeah, except for I need to bounce on robots. Bye. Glide button and bounce button being the same is not a good thing, especially when your glide actually removes all of your vertical momentum. There you go. No. Aha, see I was wondering if I could make that jump. It didn't really look like I could. Okay. My god game. So, you know, my tagline for years has been beating games so you don't have to. I usually meant that as in like a jocular w sort of way. Just ha having fun experiences for you. <laughs> now this means you guys don't have to sit through these games and see what they're like. I'm the one that has to do it. Let's take on an alternate meaning. Now I'm the one who has to <laughs> bear through all this stuff. What have I got myself into? Hello. Hi. Sometimes it's worth it though. Yeah! Do that. And go and bow. Just keep that in mind for the jellyfish. That doesn't quite seem to be what I need to do yet. Okay. I'm kind of curious as to like the design process of making this game, as compared to making 
the console version, since there are clearly some parallel concepts with things like how you use golden spatulas to get past checkpoints in both games, but they're implemented differently. So at some point, the development of the two games apparently split off. They have similar concepts in some way or another. Oh, I was lucky! Oh, oh, spoiled it! That was not an in intentional SpongeBob reference. Look at that, I just do this without thinking. Become one with the sponge. Okay, go away. Go away. Beautiful. I can't really get by if I hit that switch now. There's nothing up top now, is there? Nothing interesting on the left. Beautiful. But oh no, I can go left now. Ah! Got moved. I was wondering if I'd have to do something with this dude. Oh, but that's not the idea. Okay, so why did I th I don't think what I did was actually I'm supposed to do it, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it my own way. Pretty sure I was supposed to push that robot down to the right. And there's something from there. Ah, I need to actually be able to uh, push him from there. I can do that if I have to. Ah! Come on! So I was thinking that what I originally wanted to do was push him off to the right here instead of left. Although now that I think about it, I don't think that would work. This is what I was supposed to do. But to not destroy the thing after I'm off to the right. Go through again. Yeah, I kind of push him off to the right. So will I always? Okay, yeah, see, this can work. It's just the game being dumb. So I guess I am supposed to actually bubble from here. Just get pushed. So drop is a doormat. See, I always look in all directions. Shoo. I don't think I need that life, although past experiences have proven that I might. So I've somehow not got you know, a game over in this game, ever. Despite what's been happening thus far. I'll get that life, actually. Why would I benefit from looking down? I guess knowing further in advance when this thing was coming. Explosives are what I require today. And no hazardous terrain down here. I kind of figured that I'd be over spikes or something this whole time. I was apparently wrong. I had the idea this would be a lot more dramatic than it was. Thank you. I get tired of seeing SpongeBob's edge animation, <laughs> so I decided I would do something different. You're kidding. Hey. Oh. Hey, do I actually have to like jump in or something like that? Where are these things relative to each other? I wanna figure out the relative heights of these. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Because there's gonna be a delay on that bubble. Yeah! And this game's actually asking a little bit more of me than I expected it to. This game's somehow managing to become more challenging than I thought it would, which is usually a welcome thing, except I don't find the challenges fun. I don't really know why. I feel kind of dull regardless. Alright. Kelp vines, even though it's usually a kelp forest thing, not jellyfish fields. Yeah, they keep making me bubble things off screen now. It's strange. I expect your players to have understood the concept of object permanence, it seems. Go! I only have so much time, dude. A 50 minute episode time limit, roughly. I'd like to maintain. I'm assuming that I'm gonna do 
have a reason for having moved back to that section. Oh no. You can do it. Yeah, that's what this dude up here is for then. Ah! I'm guessing I'm gonna end up... Having some other means of getting off to the left here. This can't jump there for a minute at the moment. Okay. Ha! Did it! These levels feel oh so long lately. There's a lot of there's a surprising amount of stuff packed onto this GBA game. And I know that there are long GBA games, but those are usually games that are kind of repetitive, like Look at, uh... Darn it. Game Arts Chain of Memories. It's a long game, but it has so much repetition in it, in the gameplay. That's not too ridiculous. I understand how it got packed onto one little cartridge. Likes make its one-way passageways. Nah, uh, I was one. I guess we're gonna have mystery today. Something to that effect. Stop that. Well, then we also have Klonoa Heroes, which was also quite long and actually had unique levels. So I don't know. Ah, see, I can move in midair. While crouch, I just can't jump. Oh, I want to show it now. I cannot jump while crouched. See, I can do it right, right there. What what limitations are this game impo Is this game imposing on me? Limitations are being imposed on me by this game. Amazing. Why did I do this? I, f I feared it would be comedic, but then I realized that I would actually have to reset the room. Thankfully, though, it's actually a recent room. Some of these rooms have a lot of stuff going on in them, though. And getting stuff like that would be much more troublesome than that was just now. So, Chris has to get up there. I guess I want something from up there. There's a key. But there's probably something else in here, I imagine. No way. Okay, so that's that, there's that last splash, and now I just need to get home. Hey, Hans. Zoom. So that's how I get those. Hans is a lot more helpful in this game than he was in Buffer King Bottom. In Buffer King Bottom, I, I, I keep saying that when I mean the console version. The console version, Hans is just an enforcer of the law, he's the man. He's the only one that keeps you down. Tells you you can't run off into the great yonder. Or how much you want to. Whereas in this game, he actually just lends you a helping hand. Ha ha. By. Oh, come on. By getting you home more quickly. So now I just need to roughly move back. Just... Oh, come on. Oh, no! Why? And elegantly traversing all the same terrain. I was going across before. There we go. Took an awful long time. And so now he's last time. Well, we all go better this time. And we drowned last time, so okay. Well, we've already done the worst than we did the first time, but we're we actually gonna survive this time. That's the real metric. It's a gauntlet of unicycle paddy collecting, I guess. Well no, I was not prepared for the first time. Oh 
Oops, yeah, I'm actually doing pretty well now. Oh no! Air time! Because I'm end up missing two. That was actually pretty good though. Oh well. So that will be it for this episode. Stay tuned, subscribe, and smile for it to be Keeny Bottom. I'll see you guys next time's episode. Mystery loves coming. Mystery, there's so much mystery in this game. That is evidently true. But I guess I can't. I can probably complain, but I'm not gonna. Bye guys!